Citizens of the Republic, welcome to another Bad Batch Reaction, Season 3, Episode 11. This is uh, the second episode in this uh, two-episode week. This one is called Point of No Return. Uh, we are fresh off of one of the best Bad Batch episodes and one of the most depressing. I am I'm absolutely... Uh, I really want to watch this episode, but I my mood is uh, is completely chalked. Uh, I'm <laughs> I I want to say I hope something happy happens in this one, but I know nothing happy is gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know, like if anything really is happy has happened. Like there's been like very small moments, maybe, but yeah, overall it's been like a very definitely like down to earth grounded type it's like andor like we said earlier it's mm -hmm. it's kind of like andor the mood the tone it's and we got one of the most depressing episodes probably in star wars history right there <laughs> that, that, that was bad dude like <laughs> it was it was a good episode but it was bad that it was that depressing yes yes uh okay so we'll go ahead and get in this reaction we will talk a bunch probably after the episode uh let's get right into it already kicked up Stuff in the music. What is this place? Looks like that place from episode three. What was that place? Polis Massa, you're saying? Yeah. I don't think that's what it is, but it looks like it. Is this Fennec? Oh no, it's Fee. Okay. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> Oh this dude. <laughs> I forgot about this dude. <laughs> there he is. Tech. Yep, it's tech. Wait, Maybe. no. If it actually is tech, and he's... Oh, this could be... Oh, no. <laughs> no. I just put that together. Oh, my God. <laughs> so did I. Ooh. What's this banger? Okay. Wait, what what's this banger? Did you hear that when she stepped in? <laughs> I, I did. She got the radio on, bro. I was like, she... Did you hear that banger? <laughs> I did. They keep cutting it off. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're going to Pabu. All right, the rock, the rock, rock. I don't, I don't know if he lives here anymore, dude. That's gotta be all um, it, right? That's depressing. I still need to grab the rations. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the return. The return. He's oh back. Oh my god. Let's go. Dwayne. Dwayne. Good girl, oh. All right, now I'm happy. I can't believe it. <clears throat> That's we the didn't title. We didn't see much of him, but we did see Dwayne. That's the title and thumbnail. Hunter thinks it's safer for everyone. He's back. <laughs> now, which treasures did you bring? Oh my god. Oh man. You want to leave these behind? Uh. Each of us is still here. Oh, and the... Come on. I'll make sure these stay safe until you come back. Somehow somehow it got more depressing than the last episode. Come on. <laughs> I got to see Dwayne again. Lift my mood. Yeah, that actually that actually brought the vibes up so much. Wow. <laughs> for all this gear oh yeah well maybe i should leave you behind <laughs> jeez uh, all right. this dude just gets like godly timing i'm <laughs> <laughs> um, i'm expecting something to happen in this episode that i'm I said like five episodes ago. I saw something in a in a teaser that was posted. <laughs> I saw literally something. posted by the like an official Star Wars account. I think something's gonna happen, and I'll tell you what it is when, when once it happens. I'm almost certain. Yeah. Oh, Hunter, he's on to something. Yep. We're sorry to see you go, but you're all welcome here anytime. Yes. Everything, ship. Oh, Dwayne. Dwayne. I love seeing you, man. Thank goodness, we, dude. I was so worried we weren't going to see him. Unless we see them live happily ever after on Pabu, I don't know if we're ever going to see him again. So, I love you, Dwayne. It's great. it's great to see him more time. 
Can you smell what he's cooking? <laughs> oh snap. This this is what I saw. I was gonna say, how do you not hear that? <laughs> no, not the Marauder. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, like God. five weeks ago they showed the Marauder getting blown up. Not the Marauder. Is Wrecker okay? Yeah, I mean, he's gotta be. Is, is Gonky guy. okay? True. <laughs> Ships don't just blow up. You've been compromised. That's true. Oh, no. Here they are. Ugh. <sighs> Now don't give them like some cool music, all right? <laughs> <laughs> don't give them some cool music. If it was all clone commandos, I could accept it. But okay, sure, yeah. You got these TK troopers. They don't yeah. deserve. They don't deserve the cool they music. They don't deserve this. What do you think you're doing? Who are you? The no, the rock. No rock. You opened fire on my village and its people. Means of escape. I know the girl is here. Until she's turned over to me, your island will burn. Don't you dare kill the rock, dude. I, dude, I'm so worried. Don't dude, kill the we rock. Were, we were both literally dude. like so stressed <laughs> out right there. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Ugh. I am relieved it is you. How's Ricker, AZ? He is still unconscious, but his vitals are stable. That was sick. Okay, that was a sick takedown. <laughs> oh. No, no. No, don't, Rock. You better stay there, I swear. <laughs> stay there. Oh my god, that was oh, awesome. That was sick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was clean. Crossing. Is they after? Yeah, they just know. My vessel's been compromised. I can't shake him. Dude. Oh my. Troopers will be here soon. Hunter would want us to stick to the plan. There's no hiding cross here. The Empire knows I'm here. They won't stop searching until they find me. Our only choice is to let them capture me. What? Look at what they've already done. I can't let the people here suffer more because of me. You'll be taken back to Tantus. Exactly. It's all we've got. And it's my choice. Omega. Focus on the bigger mission, Crosshair. I'm just a small part of it. Crosshair did. Crosshair <laughs> didn't want to do it. Because no. he knows Hunter's probably going to be mad, too. Oh, Hunter, but, yeah. But Omega is right. It's the only, only option. Take me and leave the island alone. The people here are innocent. They'll probably kill everyone on the island. Then oh, yeah. Never should have come here in the first place. He's got it, he's got it. Here you go, the ship will hit the shot. Oh.
That don't even tell me that's it. Oh my god. Now hold on. We got this double premiere and you're gonna end it on that, dude. Come on. <laughs> you can't just end it on that like that, dude. And that had me have me sit through another week. Like, come on, dude. I'm so upset. That was kind of uh <laughs> kind of anticlimactic. He's running and you're like, hit the shot, hit the shot, and it like wasn't even yeah. close. It just doinked in the water. Like that was that was very anticlimactic and it doesn't seem like they have they had a black backup plan. No, but so <sighs> <laughs> so now they don't have Omega anymore, and <laughs> yeah, which we, dude. I mean, we said this at the beginning, at like I think we said this within the first three episodes that like, yeah, she, they she has to get captured again somehow. Like, yeah, yeah, like that's gonna be the only way they find Mount Tantas. Uh. Plus, like, her getting out literally right at the beginning within the first three episodes was, you know, kind of a a sign that, like, yeah, she's probably going to go back at some point. True. Uh, dude, there's only... There are four more episodes. Yeah. These are going to be jam-packed. Yeah. They're going to have to be. I mean, I feel like even, like, it already has went so fast within these past few episodes but oh, yeah these yeah, next yeah. four are gonna be lightning quick <laughs> oh my god well wrecker's okay at least no one died the rock didn't die no, dude that was the biggest thing i was like dude when he started talking to that to tech maybe tech um <laughs> I, maybe dude, tech. I, <laughs> dude i like leaned over i was like if you don't do anything you're gonna regret dude please yeah like I can't deal with the, I couldn't deal with the rock die. I cannot deal with the rock dying. I cannot. <sighs> but he's okay. He's okay. We can um, breathe. <laughs> I'm worried about Gonky. Yeah, we the Marauder's gone. gone. Yeah, no, the Dude, Marauder's that, gone. It, can you believe that an official Star Wars account posted a teaser video, and the Marauder blowing up? was one of the clips in it. Could you believe that? <laughs> like, how? why do you do that? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> you would think you would want uh, that to be, like, a surprise, like, the ra- like when the, uh, the Razor Crest blew yeah. up. Like, that was, like, a... Like, whoa, I was not expecting that. Mm-hmm. This... I, why would you post this? Um... That doesn't make sense, but... I, it's still sad to see it go, man. I didn't want to see it go but okay so so the 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 next episode this is what i'm hoping because you you know how from episode four to five we had like a time jump where it was like the end of episode four was was like crosshair and and hunter like them standing across from each other like they hadn't talked at all Yeah, yeah and then we get the time jump i wanted to see what that first interaction was and we didn't get it Mm-hmm. The next episode better start like literally right where this one ended. That's fact. because That's fact. I need to see Crosshair like breaking the news to Hunter. Yeah, we kind of came up with this plan and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and now Omega's not here anymore. <laughs> he's gonna be pissed. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. And that could start a whole you know thing with him and Crosshair again. But I think it's gonna. I think it's. Oh, that's true. Because like maybe. Because Hunter might still be skeptical and be like, "You're still working with the Empire, and you." And that just kind of confirmed. You gave her up. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it's not like that. I hope uh, like. I hope it turns into even more of a trust moment of like. Hunter needs to trust Crosshair that like that is, actually the truth. Yeah. So do I. So do I. Okay. So Omega's going back. She's probably gonna get put with. Oh my god, she's gonna get put with the with the kids in the. In the vault. Yep. Hmm. 
Yeah, they're not going to risk her getting out again. Wow. Do you think... Now, now, bear with me here. Do you think... You know how we saw... We saw, like, the first time that we saw the assassin dude, he was standing at that bottom of the thing, and we saw, like, what the top of it was, where Hemlock mm -hmm. was. Yeah. And he was looking at, like, like a tank that obviously had, like, a body floating in it. You're saying, like, I might know where you're going, but I'll let you finish. Do you think it's tech, and they're, like, using his DNA to, like, make these assassin dudes? Hmm. I don't know. I, I, you know, I wouldn't be like surprised if he was in the tank. Because um, it, it's like an echo situation where they're keeping him alive when he yeah. obviously should have been dead. Yeah, and would have exact. been dead. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's that's not a bad idea, actually. I that because obviously it didn't show like who it was in the tank, so it's like, because mm -hmm. well, it would make more sense that. That is what's going on versus one of the assassins actually being tech. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, it, it is kind of weird though, like having the emphasis on the assassin still for a little bit, but mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it's like Cody or something. You know, I don't know. That's true. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I, the, with the tank thing now, it's like that, that seems a bit more believable than mm -hmm. it's, especially because they didn't show what he was looking at. Yeah, like, if you're not going to show who's in the tank right when you, sh like, show it and we see it, that it's a bit suspicious. Mm -hmm. Like, you're doing that, you're doing that deliberately. <laughs> like, you don't want people to see that just yet, you know? Uh-huh. So, I, I wouldn't, that wouldn't surprise me, honestly. That's not a bad theory to think that that's tech in there. God, dude. This is, like... <laughs> this show is amazing the show is dude it's so and the fact that there's gonna be a good amount of people that are gonna are missing out on all this is just mm -hmm. like people are missing out genuinely Cause missing. I, I guarantee there's people that have watched like clone wars mm -hmm. and don't watch this because it doesn't have like any of the main main characters in it from star wars yeah, and they're missing out. Cause... And probably people that didn't watch Rebels, which, I mean, they're missing out on that, too. But <laughs> Fact. I think this is a show that this show deserves so much more love. Oh, dude, it does. It, it's so, it's like one of the best things that they've made recently. Like, it's. This is my favorite Star Wars show. It's in, This is insane. I... How good this, this show is. is. But before any other show came out and it was just Clone Wars, or if it was Clone Wars and Rebels, because Rebels was the second one, yeah. I, like Clone Wars was always my favorite, and it definitely I think it's like it's still up there, and it like part of me still thinks that it's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Then course. I saw like, then I saw Mando for the first time when it first came out, and I was like, oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> And then Andor, we're like, I I think Andor is the best. I don't think it's my favorite. I think yeah, this yeah. is my favorite, and I think it is one of the best. No, this this is. I mean, this show is great. I mean, like I like we keep saying, you know, it's a shame that there's gonna be people that are gonna be missing out on this. Like, I can't recommend this enough. It's one of the best shows that they've come out with recently. Actually, out of all the shows that they've made it's one of the best and i the the steps that they have taken to get to this point like season one was like solid like i thought it was good yeah i liked it for what it was <clears throat> season two got a little better i enjoyed the tech stuff and all that other so definitely that one definitely took a leap but the leap between season two and this season is like dude the leap is insane I like, think there's a pretty drastic leap in quality oh, from yeah. season one, two, and three. Like between all of them, there really is mm -hmm. a big jump. Yeah, it's the quality, the music, the 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 story, the characters. I mean, they they are seriously nailing everything on this show right now. 
Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't really have complaints about this show. It, it, and you can't tell me, I don't, I'm, I haven't seen it, but I swear if there's one person out there saying that there's, there's an episode that's filler in this, <laughs> that's complete cap because there's not been a <laughs> single episode that has even come remotely close to a filler episode. Literally not close. <laughs> Like, I'm literally watching, like, Mando or, like, Andor or something. Yeah. In like, animated form right now. It's insane. Like, none of the... None of the animated shows, apart from, like, maybe even, like, the... Maybe the final season of Rebels, because it was pretty concise. True. Um, like, none of the other animated shows have, I, I think, kept this quality across an entire season. Because you know it's not going to drop off with four episodes left. Oh, no. If anything, it's going to hit. Dude, it might kick up even more somehow. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's some of the live action shows that I don't think have kept this level of episodes up for an entire season. And they're short, much shorter seasons than these. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. It literally, like... The the see if you go by seasons of Star Wars shows, the ranking, the top three genuinely might be Andor season one, Mando season one, Bad Batch season three, like yeah, whatever might, order you uh, want to put them in, but that's probably yeah. the top three. Yeah, that might because th- this is competing with Mando season two right now. Yeah, this is competing with Mando season two, and depending on how they do this ending. For me, it might overpass that, which is saying something because Mando season two was crazy too. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. This show's amazing. It, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, you know, I keep bring, I keep coming back around the hemlock, but that dude is, that dude is. <laughs> we said it before. He is evil. Yeah, no one other than Palpatine, I don't know if anyone can match that that's level. A, dude, that's what I'm saying. I was just about to say, like, he surpassed Thrawn on the evil scale scale. Like, he is yeah. way more evil than Thrawn is. And Thrawn was Thrawn was obviously a lot tactical more tactical, but he still was like evil too, you know. Hemlock is a whole nother animal. I right think now. when you're bringing in science to it that's when things like get increasingly evil because he is just True. like he does not care about any living being he only cares about this test and he wants to see the results yeah that's what he wants to see oh my god dude uh, <laughs> uh, i just i i don't know man every, every everyone that gets to this point in the video please tell me in the comments if if we are like are we faded are we faded <laughs> are we faded for what we're saying about about this show right now like is this show or at least this season of this show especially yeah, is this like really, top tier yeah yeah because i've said i enjoyed the other seasons too but the elite from it's just it's absurd Not, like you know, like it's like episode ten. Uh, we like we've never seen anything like that, really. No, like that was, and that was in <laughs> Bad Batch. Because like we shows. we saw we saw like in the Clone Wars, we saw like bounty hunters stealing like yeah. force sensitive children, mm-hmm. but we didn't <laughs> we didn't see like what those <laughs> kids are put through. Yeah, no, this is. This is insane. Absolutely insanity. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I have nothing else to say. I'm I'm mind blown after <laughs> after these two episodes. And I'm mad at where this one left off, but Oh dude, I'm I'm absolutely furious at where this ended off, but But the, the next one... four episodes are gonna be like otherworldly. Yeah, but the the biggest the point that I want to make here is that the rock is still alive and very, and he's doing, well, he's not doing, I guess he's, he's, you know, he's annoyed because his, you know, his home plan and everything, his village is got destroyed by the empire, but mm-hmm. he is alive. He is 
he is okay. Yes. Dwayne Johnson is, is alive. That is good because we, we don't he, know what could happen in the next episode. Because the Empire's true. still there. That's true. Please just dude, if if he goes out, dude, I, I don't I don't know if I'll be able to watch anymore. I I, <laughs> I need him to stay alive. The fact that we didn't see him on in any of the ever, other episodes up until this point. <laughs> and we see him we're like, yo, let's go. Like, let's go. <laughs> and five minutes later we were both stressing that he was about to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god alright well we will be back next week for episode 12 going on to the last four episodes um, I don't know man I'm deathly afraid same here <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know in the comments what you thought and we will see you next week goodbye